Another leftist anti-conservative Tory has been given a platform by Sky News to go on TV and attack British conservatism. Oh, and she happens to be Carrie Johnson's best friend. Oh, mainstream media, the cabal of the mainstream media are loving it. Uh, they are absolutely loving uh, the fact that they can get some people who sell themselves as uh, centre-right Tories. But in fact, <laughs> they are the liberal leftists who they can go on TV and the media could say, look, we, we invite right-wingers. But then those right-wingers uh, become your John Majors and your Michael Heseltines and all the other wets who come and basically attack conservatism. Or it's not even about being conservative. Basic British common sense. If you have that, by nature, you are a crazy hard right Brit. And this is the problem we have. Now this is about Nimco Ali. Now Nimco Ali was friends with Carrie Johnson, the wife of Boris Johnson was, uh, until recently, under Boris's government, a government advisor. And people like her, the only way, the only reason they got involved was during the David Cameron days, when David Cameron was selling modern Toryism, uh, this open-minded and compassionate and progressive Tory family, where a lot of people were given platforms based on their identity, and uh, re re regardless of their lack of merit. And these people, like Nimco, got into the Tory family back then. Now, she decided to go on Sky News and attack Suella Braverman. In reality, the translation is she attacked Suella, but she used her as a political tool to go through her to attack all of us, the British people, uh, because we are concerned about uh, migration and border crisis. And this is absolutely disgusting. She says Suella Braverman is fueling Farage politics and um, what is Farage politics Nimco Ali if people are concerned about uh, the national identity and immigration mass migration and a border crisis does that mean we are crazy hard right Farage right? also when did Farage become hard right <laughs> what is Farage politics anyway well we have a couple of clips from this interview that she did on Sky News and I'm going to show it to you I'm going to uh, react to what was actually said the first bit is about Suella Braverman I think it's just the rhetoric and also this rhetoric also comes through from when she was at the, um, um, at the Attorney General's um, office where she was very blatantly not interested in human rights and actually it's somebody that wants to go very right wing as opposed to actually looking at the humanity of these people that are coming to this country. So ultimately she's come from a position where she could talk about theory to a place where she can actually now practice those kind of um, views that she holds against people who need our support essentially. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, a few issues with this uh, rant. The last bit. Uh, people who really need our help coming from France. Yeah, Nimco? Okay. I don't understand what's going on in France, but clearly we need to help them. There are two other points. She literally accused Suella Braverman when she was Attorney General. She said, clearly, Suella didn't care about human rights. Why? Because she opposed ECHR, for example. This is a classic... Ramona rant and line that they've used that even during the EU referendum in 2016 they said if you leave if you leave the European Union and if you vote Brexit that means you're against humans and human rights because they said if you leave then you're going to leave ECHR and ECHR and the European Union were two separate entities weirdly linked but weirdly separate this is exactly why we are in this mess right now because we're still part of ECHR but then second part, she said, instead of focusing on compassion and the, the humanity, Suella Braverman focused on right-wingism, right-wing politics. This is, again, the slur that they, they use to brainwash our kids from early days, schools, colleges, universities, and employment. To brainwash people, say, right-wing means you don't like humanity. Left-wing means you're a good human. And this is the problem that we're currently having. Because they don't actually understand the basic nuance of the debate. Now let's go to the second bit where she basically compared herself to Meghan Markle. 
up, the sweller that I know that I worked with and the pretty that I know that I worked with. And ultimately, this is the standpoint that I'm taking. My kind of conversation is actually, if you just look at the timeline on Twitter at the moment where any young black person or black person speaks out, be that Meghan Markle, myself or anybody, the rhetoric and, and the kind of like, you know, the hate that we get is so normalized and we shouldn't be in that position. Oh my God, just stop talking. Firstly, Meghan Markle and I, as, as if they're best friends. <laughs> One, regardless of what we say about Meghan, at least she's famous and people know who she is when they attack her. No one even know who Nim Ali is. So don't don't pretend that you're getting the same level of hate. Two, you're, you're literally doing what the rest of the leftists do. Um, the people, a lot of people who are promoting um, a control on immigration or border control or anything like this, including Suella, including that incompetent Priti Patel, they're also not white, including my TC on this channel. I'm not really the painless guy. I mean, I'm not that dark, but I'm also not the painless guy. So, um, but also when, when people criticize you, Nimco, or Megan, or any of these people, it's not based on skin color. It's based on the idiocy that comes from out, out of your mouth. In fact, it's the left that attack people, whether uh, they're not white, or maybe they're women, if they happen to be right wing. If they happen not to be left wing, then you are no longer brown. You're no longer a woman. It's you guys that do it. It's you guys that keep focusing on identity politics. Nobody even brought up your skin color. And then randomly in the middle of a Sky News interview, you said, well, I think the reason people don't like my ideas, maybe it's because of my skin color. No, Nimco. It's because your policies are idiotic. Because you don't really care about basic British common sense and British, British values and the identity of the, this Anglo-Saxon island. That's the reality. But clearly, we can't say this because it's politically incorrect. Guess what, Nimco? I do not care about what you think of my views when it comes to this great country. We will continue our work as usual on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.